get my fingers out of the way. Nelson. Do you see these three holes? And down here too, three holes. You loosen that and turn it and it makes it either more aggressive or less aggressive, in case you wanted to know. I mean, you, that's what you asked me. Sorry, I'm having brain tutelage today. Let me go to the other side, hold on. Now, I don't have a light on me, but this here is the retracting finger here at the feeder beater. Trying to see if these guys have got bolts and nuts. Yeah, that right there is solid. Yeah, 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 I remember now, I remember now. Yeah, just ignore this side and, and that's the other side that makes the adjustment. Hold on a second. I gotta get this thing out, get this head off. Oh, golly. Okay, here we go. I'm assuming this is what you're talking about right there. Oh, that one, yeah, that, I'm sorry. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, if you'll, if you'll loosen them bolts, you can turn this thing to make it more aggressive or less aggressive, but remember, if you turn it too much and it goes to hitting the floor, you're gonna have a mess, have holes in the floor. Um, this is where this is at. I don't know if yours is doing that good or not. I noticed that in your little video you sent me, it was piling up on the front. It made me wonder what uh, cousin I had one time when we was gonna pick the wheat, the uh, stalk was so stiff that it wouldn't break and go down through it. Even though your oats have been out there a long time, the stalks may be still stiff. That was what I was trying to tell you yesterday in the, in the text but I don't know. If you have any questions, let me know. And this is for Nelson, the IP Farmers. Just wanted that to be known. Uh, he tried to pick some uh, oats and it kept crowding up up here at the front and he was thinking that this, this was not doing his job or something. I was, like I said, my cousin and I, we went to pick that wheat the first time, and I thought it was ready because the grain was right and everything, but the stalk was just stiff, stiff, stiff. And so we had to wait a little bit. And, of course, the time the stalk got where you could uh, cut it and get it through the machine, all the seed did pretty much fell out of the head. So I don't know. But it wasn't a real high-dollar wheat. It was just a, basically it was a wheat that you're supposed to plant. You can get straw out of or... A cover crop until the spring that's that's what we we come to assume all right uh, this is as far as we've got on the 4320 we did get tire in and everything all hooked back up but been rather hot been busy at work um, we got a pond right there and when you try to come down here and work in the summertime them little skeeter boys, they, well, skeeter girls, because they're girls, ain't no guys. They kind of like to eat you. And I have a question for all the gleaner guys that make and help me figure something out. Both uh, IP and I, our reels go too fast. Well, we don't have that motor system that they sold with these combines. And I've tried to figure out how to exchange out all this stuff to make it work. And I was just asking you guys, you might could come up with something and let me know how you might have slowed your reel down without hydraulic. Was there a kit or something that you could get from gleaner people that like had a bigger pulley here? Because if we had a uh, bigger pulley, because if we had a bigger pulley, it would grow slower. Anyway, it was just questions I had to ask. And while we stand here looking, I haven't done anything to this because I bought another one. I got another two-row head with a combine. Another gleaner. 
I haven't uh, gone and got it. But when we go get it, I'll uh, let you see it and stuff. I may get guys' permission and go look at it again. I don't know. Like I say, we've just been real busy and it's been so hot. Things just not, things just not as easy at 62 as it was at 22. All right, I reckon it's pretty much all the gapping I need to do. See you when we on the next one.